Good evening and welcome. The controversial Siddharth Vardarajan, MK Venu and the other controversial members of the disgraced propaganda site called The Wire are trying to wriggle out of the crime that they have committed, but they can't. They can't because the whole world has called out their fabrication and their most unfortunate, depraved editorial fraud. And the whole ecosystem coming together to save them because they're one of them has to answer some very straight questions if they want to take the onus of this un unforgivable and depraved crime that is an absolute assault on journalistic ethics on themselves. I have just 10 questions tonight, viewers, and let us think. How can The Wire deny responsibility for the fabrication when it has been screaming for ownership of this fraud all through this year? Now that they are caught red-handed, they want to deny it. Two, didn't the same Siddharth Padarajan claim that the story was under his overall and his direct supervision? So how does he claim now that he was fooled? Was he fooled or was he trying to fool the country? Three, wasn't the same now disgraced Vardarajan lambasting the Indian media for not picking up this fraud that he published? Four, wasn't the same Vardarajan not attacking others in the Indian media for not lifting the fabrication that he conceived, that he published? And wasn't he praising left-leaning global media for falling into his editorial trap? Five. Didn't the same Vardarajan not say that his editorial fabrication proved, and I quote, that in India there is an assault on the integrity of our democracy? Unquote. Six. Didn't the same controversial Wire editor also not effectively describe the fake and fabricated tech for gap, which doesn't even exist, in such a way that it seemed that the BJP IT cell ran some kind of underground terror network to terrorize the citizens of India. Imagine this was all, all his fabrication, now he wants to get away. Question seven, didn't the same propaganda site The Wire also not claim that there were identified victims of this fabrication who were planning to take legal action. Now, consider this, ladies and gentlemen, to cover up one lie, you lie a second and a third time. If this tech fog app itself didn't exist, were the victims also a fabrication or were they lying? Can you imagine the extent of the fraud, the crime? Question number eight, isn't it true that this same fellow, Vardarajan, this Vardarajan, also claimed that the Narendra Modi government was trying to hack into his phone. Now, was that also a fabrication, Bhardaraj? Question number nine, how is it that most of the fabrications and unproven reports in this propaganda site also hurt national interest in sensitive times? Is there an agenda there, like during COVID when they attacked Bharat Biotech? And question number 10, Will all of these lies, these fabrications, these frauds be justified by the lobby because the wire, for all its lies, is one of them? Now I have these straight questions tonight. Let me see whether anyone can answer those on my debate.